Hello, candle lovers. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Greg and this is All About Candles. I'm your self-proclaimed Canadian candle connoisseur. Let's just get right into it. I have a review for you today from Bath & Body Works. This is Wicked Vanilla Woods. Um, finally, these candles with the fancy lids went on sale for $12.95 and then they sold out. <laughs> I bought quite a few of these because I did buy one when they did the half price Halloween and I had a coupon. And so I did have a chance to like burn it uh, before they went on sale for super cheap cheap. And I really enjoyed it. And it did better burning than I thought it was gonna do after smelling it on cold. I really like this fragrance, you guys. And in terms of like the packaging, the snake lid is fine. It's it's cool, it's nice. You never really know what to do with the lid when you're finished the candle, which I think is always kind of weird. But the actual jar itself ended up being a lot more pretty and interesting than I thought it was going to be when it was filled with wax. And then the sticker that has the Wicked Vanilla Woods label on it, it's not bad. It does look very stickery, um, but I actually really enjoyed that this was sort of like an ombre fade to clear. Um, it looked really gorgeous when it was burning, much prettier than I thought it was going to. And so this candle really kind of surprised me in a lot of ways. The first time I smelled Wicked Vanilla Woods was when it came out in body care. I smelled it in the store and I loved it right away. So I got the body wash and those were some excellent showers. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was really happy to see it come out in three wick form. Uh, let's get into the scent notes. Magical vanilla, glowing amber wood, and enchanted pink pepper. I actually really think that this is a super nice, like kind of mature, interesting fragrance. I really do. I mean, it's nothing crazy but um, very much in the vein of things like, I mean, I like it better than Vanilla Romance. I like it better than Bonfire Bash. What was that other one that it was compared to quite a bit? Um, Cozy Vanilla Bourbon, I think. Uh, I, I like this one more than any of those. I really, really enjoyed it. It's, it's a nice and smooth vanilla, but what I'm really obsessed with is the peppery note in here, like the peppery vanilla-ness of it. I don't really pick up on that much of like a glowing amber wood. Um, for me, it's just a really well done, nicely balanced peppery vanilla. It sits very much in like a mid-range. And it's really nice. It's like, uh, it's, it's two things that you wouldn't necessarily think would go well together, but when executed properly, it does. And also in terms of all of the Halloween candles this year, this was the only offering from Bath & Body Works that was a little bit darker, a touch spookier, a little bit more unique, you know what I mean? Yeah, because otherwise all we had was Ghoul Friend, Vampire of Blood, Spooky Moontini, and Pumpkin Carving. I love Pumpkin Carving. Everyone loves Pumpkin Carving. Yeah, this one stood out to me. I really liked it. I'm glad that I bought a lot of them. Total repurchase for me and a recommendation for you if you can still find it. Um, moving on to performance, it did a lot better than I thought it was going to do. As far as the burn goes, it was a really nice, clean, even burn all the way from top to bottom. No issues with sooting. I mean... When you let these candles extinguish themselves, you always get a little bit of murkiness and discoloration at the bottom there, but nothing too serious. The strength and throw on this was like a 6.5 to a 7. Some of the really good mid-range burns in my bedroom, I'd say it's like a medium to large space. It got up to a 7 for sure. Gets a little bit more lost in an open area, but it is there. In a more open area, it is there pulling about a 6. All right? 6.5 in the bedroom, 6 in a more open like living area pretty acceptable for me for a vanilla fragrance from Bath & Body Works, right? I mean, I think it's one of the 
stronger vanilla candles that I've burned from them for a while. I'd say that Vanilla Romance was about the same for Strength and Throw, but I like this fragrance more, and it stands out a little bit more too, I think, because of that peppery note. Yeah, I really like this one, folks. I really, really did. It was a good candle. It really was. Great burner, too. So, Wicked Vanilla Woods. This was, like... This was really my favorite thing about Halloween from Bath and Body Works this year is this candle. It's really all I've got that, you know, kind of impressed me and, and got me excited. Everything else was kind of the same old thing. I did get one of those like Halloween, like light up skull pedestals that I'm gonna put out at my Halloween party, probably with a Wicked Vanilla Woods burning on top of it. <laughs> That's all I have for you folks today. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you could like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, that would be awesome. You can follow me on Instagram at all about candles and email me your burning questions at allaboutcandles at gmail.com. And until next time, my dear friends, let's burn some candles and bitch about it. Thanks, folks. Bye now.